Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. And today I am bringing you a delightful gift. Um, this is my little hexagon box. Um, using the beautiful new snail mail suite. Although I haven't used the dies, but isn't it so cute? And can, oops! Can you see there? Look, the tiny little heart. Resin hearts, aren't they cute? But yeah, I, I found him so cute and so cheeky and adorable. Um, and I wanted to make, I just want to make something a bit different and I thought this would be a real nice little gift to say you've got mail. So let's go ahead and make it. So to start off with then you're going to need two sheets of cardstock that are five and three quarters by six and a half or 15 by 16 centimetres. We are going to score on the long side at two, four and six. Then we're going to rotate and score the short side at two, four and five and a quarter. We're then going to rotate back again and we're going to mark these top sections at one, three and five. Okay, I'm going to do that again, this time in centimetres. So 16 by 15 on the long side we're going to score at 5, 10 and 15 centimetres. We're then going to rotate it and score at 5, 10 and 13 and a half. We're then going to rotate back and we're going to mark the top at 2 and a half, 7 and a half and 12 and a half. That was really tricky to do when you're marking inches but actually reading centimetres. <laughs> but we did it. Okay, now sadly we've got to go back in with the ruler and where we've made those um, marks across the top we're going to use those points and score our triangles and we're going to do that on both pieces on all three sections. So all the way along. So you're just creating that triangle there. We're going to do exactly the same, <coughs> excuse me, with this one. All on the three there. Use this a bit quicker doing it this way actually. And then back this way. Okay. Then we're going to fold and burnish all of our score lines. So the next thing I want to do now is put some adhesive down this strip here and put these two pieces together. Okay, so now I've got just one piece to work with. Then at the bottom here, we're going to cut all of these down all the way Cross, including the one that I've just joined so it probably would have made sense not to glue that part but never mind we've done it now <laughs> all the way along and then obviously we get rid of this little piece here so you can already see this little beauty starting to take shape so we need to make sure that we fold all of our triangles but we need to fold them this way So you're actually folding them the opposite. That one will be a bit st stiffer because you've got the, the extra paper sitting just behind it. Okay, 
So I'm going to put my DSP on these centre squares here. Isn't this just so cute? And these DSP are one and three quarter by one and three quarter. If you can get your, snake, uh, your seal to roll. Um, four and a half by four and a half centimetres. Make sure they're not upside down. Oh, oh, wonky. Oh, come on. It's not going to go my way, is it, today? There we go. Let's try again. Stick them all on. Super cute images. Of course, if you haven't or you're not on my list for a copy of the catalogue, that's wonky, and you would like one, then by all means let me know. I can only send them to France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands, but by all means, if you do want one, let me know and I'll get one straight out to you. Probably not today now, seeing as it is Christmas Eve and the post office will probably be closing soon. Okay, so what do we need to do now is get some adhesive on here. I don't know why I keep going off with that, but anyway. Right, so let's fold that over and then we need to use our super cute um, crocodile here. Now I'm going for my smaller smaller option here and what you're looking for, let me find one where there isn't a join, so if I hold this flat as it is you've got your um, triangle here that we scored and what you're wanting to do is use this centre line here as your guide and you want to punch either side of it but on the line is fine let me move that guide out of the way so you're literally going on the on the line and I'm using my crocodile as a guide actually I'm using the thickness of the actual um, bit here and I'm just going to work my way along just punching holes either side on the line as I said this one might be a bit oh no it wasn't as tough as I expected it's absolutely chucking it down with rain and I need to take my dogs out very shortly so that looks like I'm going to get soaked which is always not fun <laughs> okay so that's that bit done. Come on, out you come, thank you. Okay, so let's get this bottom part adhered up. So take whichever one you want. So I'm just going to take this one, I'm going to grab my glue, and just on that corner there, I'm adding adhesive and so as you can see that is where it sticks and then the last one will actually get a bit more but I've just remembered I don't have any tissue so I'm going to just have to use good old fingers don't put your glue here because that will be the base of your box so we flip that one over I've got dog hairs going on and everything now and then what I sort of did here was, whilst the glue is slightly wet, I just kind of wiggled it to make sure that it's a hexagon shape and not offset or anything. Obviously turn it over if you need to and give it a little press. And then beautiful snail mail twine combo, so you get the lovely pink and the white, so I'm going to go with white this time. Let me just put the lid on my glue, seeing as I'm actually getting it everywhere now. So, a decent length of twine, and I think actually, 
remembered now I doubled mine up on the previous one so I'll just give that a cut there and then cut that bit and then I'm actually going to go most of you will remember I have a little little darning needle here that just helps do this and then all you're simply doing here is pushing this bit down and bringing this one out okay so you're just doing this all the way around and then obviously bringing that box together decide where you want or which piece you want to be the front um, I'm going to go here I think so I'm going to start from this side and literally just feed this through your hole punched or the holes you punched should I say make sure you hold on to the other end if you are going to get a bit crazy with this because if you're anything like me you may just end up pulling it okay so all I'm doing here is squeezing them all together just to assist the pull here oh, my fingers look can you see that glue look all sticky and horrible right so again you can pull this as tight or as loose as you wish it is a little tricky when you're trying to tie the bow but if you've got either patience or like me just pure gusto and go right that's it you're going you can tie your bow and then we just need our little decoration so I've got some beautiful whisper white here my memento <laughs> my snailed it stamp set it's just so cute so you've got mail going up for that that one up there I'm hoping it will fit on my C block yes it will so that stamp as I say there are coordinating dies I've just not use them on this project and then all I need now is to give him some colour so um, right dark flirty flamingo is literally all I'm going to go with just to give that heart there a bit of colour I then went with my pool party light and dark so my light is for the shell which again you just cover all over then the dark one I've used just to add a bit of shade and then back over with my light to blend that all in and then the last bit Mr Snail himself and I used my crumb, crumb cake blend here so light crumb cake and I literally just did a little bit but there the dark again I'm just kind of going for the, the shaded effect here back in with my light to blend that in I'm gonna leave him at that I think and then all I need to do is just use my trimmer and I did trim actually quite close to all of this because I wanted it to fit on the box nicely 
So I did get really close, <laughs> up close and personal with Mr. Snail. And then, although I've not, I didn't get any out, so I'm just going to have to quickly just grab a bit of my Bermuda Bay. Sorry, yeah, my Bermuda Bay. Bit of scrap here. And you know me, he's just going to get adhered onto a bit of Bermuda Bay. I don't really want a great amount of border. And then give that a trim. There we go. Add one of these lovely resin hearts. I'm going to go with a red one this time. I'm going to be a rebel. Just a stick just there. And then dimensionals on the back. And hopefully he will look ready go <laughs> and there we have it <laughs> aren't they cute two snail mail hexagon boxes thanks for joining me guys and i hope to see you all again soon have a fabulous christmas and i'll see you next week <laughs>